Hello, welcome to another video and this one we're going to look at 10 versions of the battling ropes or power ropes, whatever you like to call them. Um, you could actually do this as a workout if you wanted to. Um, trust me when I tell you, it felt like a workout. I was dreading doing this video at the time. I was only, uh, someone asked me for a few ideas regarding this exercise for this. So anyway, so let's get it. Well, firstly, before we get into it, I'll show you the first couple of exercises anyway, and then I'll, we'll discuss a couple of things about the ropes. But the most important thing you need to understand about this is the speed. They must be done fast. All right. So... I'll play some of this video in slow-mo, but some of it will be faster timing for you. So the first one's the standard. I'll play it in fast time for you. So this first one's just the standard two-handed waves. Um, you can really see, like, in all the versions of these, how I've got to drop down into, like, a squat stance, but really sink my hips back. So you'll see how on this one where we're going to move side to side. So if I just go back to the first one. This very first one here, you'll see how my my body position. I've got to sit my hips back. I really, because really the hips are the key to this. Even though it doesn't look like I'm moving much, I really am sort of bouncing up and down. So I've got to sit back into like a partial squat, probably more of a deadlift than a squat at times. But you'll see how I bounce up and down. I'm really trying to leverage the strength in my legs to. Give me power into my upper body and my arms because without it I don't have anything. This second version of this is where I move side to side. So it's like a lateral sort of jumping action. It looks quite stupid at the time. It's quite tiring. They're all quite tiring. You know, roughly the, the, the length of time for all these is between 10 and 20 seconds tops. No longer than 20 seconds. You just get too slow. This next one's like a slam and you can see how really... Really, I am leveraging my entire body to to give the power that I'm looking for. Um, the, it, again, it's all about the speed of it. So in that, that last one, it's really about moving super fast with one rep as opposed to an endurance uh, thing. Now, this next one is the alternating waves, um, another very popular version. There's many, most people really struggle with this one. Um, you really, really need a bit of coordination, but incredible power. That's where people, if you don't have the strength, you'll never be able to devise it. Um, if I wanted to complicate it, I can add, which I was experimenting with there, adding like a bit of a lateral lunge into it. So this is where, you know, if you really want to get creative with these things, you just start adding extra leg movements to the arm thing. So, again, the high level of coordination. Um, and, you know, and if you're doing this, like this becomes a workout for me because I'm I'm doing roughly 10 seconds for each, each version and then taking roughly 10 seconds break between each one. So as so I said at the start, you could turn it into a workout. This next one's a really challenging one where you're trying to combine the backward lunge with the with the alternating rope um, coordination. You've got to try to not lose the power and the speed of it while you're moving with your legs. So we've seen three of the double-handed waves, three of the alternating waves. Now we'll see a couple of different variations. This next one's like a like a pec fly um, for like in the chest exercises, and and again if you don't have the strength in the chest, you won't have the power to be able to move it fast enough to make the uh, the ropes move like they are. So again, it's a bit of a deceptive one. Uh, this next one is like a bit of a shoulder exercise. This one's almost like the old lateral raises in the gym exercise. But again, you'll see if you watch carefully, look how much I'm using my legs to give me my momentum through my upper body. I'm really having to try and drive the ropes high here, as opposed to those alternating ones, which were staying quite low. Um, very tiring kind of exercise, that one. Uh, the, the next couple I'm going to show you is like, isn't this first one's a wood chop version. And you can see I've got a different grip on the on the ropes on, for this one. Um, you know, so you're going to have to change, which, which I could do that for the other ones as well, by the way. You know, when you mix up the grip, really does sort of uh, change things around a lot. All right, so you can see here, you really got to rip side to side. You're trying to get that, that that real spiral effect with the ropes, trying to get it high off the ground. That's that's the secret to making that one work. Again, you need incredible power. Without it, it just doesn't work very well at all. This one's very awkward. Um, it's almost looks like you, you're pumping up a, like a bike tyre. You know, it's quite strange real like lack of strength in this one because you can't leverage your, your legs into it this time. 
I really noticed the difference with the left and the right. So this is left with my left leg forward. I really noticed a lack of power on this one. Um, you know, quite a strange kind of exercise that last one. But you know, again, if I just go back to the beginning, they all, all of these rope things, really share the the, the same key elements, and it's always that that sort of athletic ready position with incredible speed. If you don't have the speed. That's why you don't want to go too long on this, these exercises and make them last forever because you're really, you're really turning a good exercise into a bad one by doing it that way. Really, 15 seconds, I'd say, is probably ideal, 10, 10 seconds if you're doing it like a workout like this one. Um, you know, and you'll get the benefit of doing it like, like that. Uh, you know, you'll get your fitness gains from it, but, but also the strength and anaerobic um, lactate sort of feeling that, that they can develop for you. All right, so there's a couple of uh, different ways you can use the ropes and you can throw them into your workouts and see if it gives you a bit of a change up. All right, I hope you enjoy that video and see you on our next one.